Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kerr College of Engineering, Kuchi. This is another lecture on the solution and discussion on the gate question paper in the subject fluid mechanics. And this is lecture number 63 in the gate question solution and discussion. The topic for the lecture is boundary layer theory part 2. In the earlier lecture, we solved a few problems from the great question paper on the boundary layer theory. So, we continue with the uh, boundary layer theory problems. The next question from the gate 2018 question paper, the viscous laminar flow of air over a flat plate result in formation of boundary layer. The boundary layer thickness at a, the end of the plate of length L equal to delta L. When the plate length is increased to twice its original length, the percentage of change in the laminar boundary thickness at the end of the plate with respect to delta L is dash. So, the, you know, the answer should be correct to two decimal places. Uh, the situation is, so the boundary thickness is delta L, the length of the plate is doubled. So, when you double the length of the plate, what will happen to the, uh, what is the percentage of increase in the boundary layer thickness? That is the question. So, the answer is 41.42 percentage. So, we will see how in the next slide. For laminar flow, in a laminar flow over a flat plate, the boundary layer thickness delta is proportional to square root of x. So, it is given delta equal to delta L at x equal to L, delta equal to 2 delta L at x equal to 2 times of L. Then we have delta L by 2 delta L equal to square root of 2L by L, which is 1.4142. So, L is getting cancelled, square root of 2 equal to 1.4142. The percentage is change in the delta L. So, delta 2L, delta boundary thickness at 2L minus boundary thickness at L divided by delta L equal to 1.412 minus 1. This is equal to into 100 equal to 41.42 percentage. So, delta 2L by delta L equal to 1.412, delta L by delta L equal to 1 into 100 equal to 41.42 percentage. The next question from gate 2004 question paper, for air flow over a flat plate, velocity U and the boundary thickness delta can be expressed respectively as U by U infinity equal to 3 by 2 Y by delta minus 1 by 2 Y by delta to the power 3 where delta equal to 4.64 x divided by square root of Reynolds number. If the free stream velocity is 2 meters per second, u infinity equal to 2 meters per second, and the air has a kinematic viscosity of 1.5 into 10 power minus 5 meters square per second and density of 1.23 kilogram per meter cube, then the wall shear stress at the x equal to l, x equal to 1 meter is, we have four options here. So, among the four options, the correct answer is, the wall shear stress value is 0 0.00436 newtons per meter square. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, it is given free steam velocity u infinity equal to 2 meters per second, kinematic viscosity is 1.5 10 power minus 5 meter square per second, rho equal to 1.23 kilogram per meter cube and the Reynolds number Re equal to u infinity x divided by nu. So, 2 into 1 divided by 1.5 10 power minus 5 equal to 1.33 10 power 5. So, the flow is lambda. So, Reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 power 5. So, the flow is laminar. For laminar flow, the boundary thickness is delta equal to 4.64 x divided by square root of Reynolds number, which is 4.64 into 1 divided by square root of 1.33 into 10 power 5, which is 0 0.0127 meter. So, the boundary thickness is 0 0.0127 meter. So, the velocity profile is given by u by u infinity equal to 3 by 2 y by delta minus 1 by 2 into y by delta to the power 3. So, u, the velocity at any position equal to u infinity into the value 3 by 2 y by delta minus 1 by 2 y by delta to the power 3. The same equation I have, I have repeated here. So, differentiate this equation with respect to y. So, du by dy equal to u infinity into uh, 3 by 2 into 1 by delta minus 1 by 2 into 3 into y square by delta to the power 3. So, du by dy at y equal to 0 equal to u infinity into 3 by 2 into 1 by delta. It is equal to 3 u infinity by 2 delta. 
So, the absolute viscosity mu equal to kinematic viscosity in density. So, which is 1.5 in 10 power minus 5 into 1.23 equal to 1.845 in 10 power minus 5. So, the wall CS test tau W equal to u mu into du by dy at y equal to 0. So, mu into 3u infinity by 2 delta which is 1.845 in 10 power minus 5 into 3 by 3 into 2 divided by 2 into 0 0.0127 this is equal to 4.36 in 10 power minus 5 newton meter square that is the answer to the problem wall cs test for the given situation the next question from 2005 question paper a smooth flat plate with a sharp leading edge is placed along a gas stream flowing at the u equal to 10 meters per second the thickness of the boundary layer at a section rs is 10 millimeter, the breadth of the plate is 1 meter and the density of the gas is 1 kilogram per meter cube. Assume that the boundary layer is thin, two dimensional and uh, the flow is linear, flow flows a linear velocity distribution of u equal to small u equal to capital U into y by delta at the section Rs where y is the height of the plate. So, we have this is the situation. So, there is a flow of gas over a flat plate with a sharp edge here. So, this is the entry is uh, PQ and this is the length QR and the position of velocity boundary layer uh, delta is measured at RS. So, the height of the boundary layer thickness delta. Now, the first question the mass flow rate across the QR. So, Q, this is the QR. What is the mass flow rate? Uh, through the boundary layer. So, from here what is the boundary layer to the, uh, with, from the boundary layer uh, what is the uh, flow to the uh, potential flow region. The answer here, uh, we will calculate the answer. So, u equal to 10 meters per second, delta equal to 10 millimeter, uh, b, breadth of the plate equal to 1 meter, 1 meter and rho equal to 1 kilogram per meter cube, mass flow rate across qs equal to m into q where rho into q, so m equal to rho into q, where rho into q equal to area into velocity b a into u. So, the area on the line q r, so along the line q r, which is equal to b into dy. So, the b is the uh, breadth of the plate and uh, dy is the height. So, this height equal to dy. u into y by delta, small u equal to u into y by delta. So, m equal to integrating from 0 to delta uh, rho b dy u into y by delta this equal to uh, you take constants outside rho b u into y by delta integral 0 to delta into y dy. So, integrating it is y square by 2. So, rho b u 1 by delta into y square by 2. So, substituting 0 to delta. So, this equal to delta, delta square by 2 rho b u 1 by delta delta square by 2. So, the answer is rho b u delta by 2. So, substituting rho equal to 1, b equal to 1, u equal to 10 meters per second, delta equal to 0 0.01 uh, divided by 2, which is equal to 0 0.05 kilograms per second. So, the mass flow rate across q r equal to 0 0.05 kilograms per second. The next question, uh, question number 2, the integrated drag force on the plate between p s. So, p s is the uh, bottom surface of the boundary layer, boundary layer. So, what is the uh, drag force here on the sur bottom surface on the plate? So, we will calculate the answer is 0 0.17 Newton. So, the momentum thickness. So, theta equal to integral 0 to delta u by u. So, the velocity divided by free stream velocity into 1 minus u by capital U dy. So, y by delta u equal to y by delta into u. So, y by delta uh, u by u equal to 1 by y by delta, y by delta into 1 minus y by delta into dy. So, integrating y square by 2 delta minus y q by 3 delta square, simplifying this is delta by x, delta by 6. So, delta value already uh, tau equal to rho u square into theta. So, rho u square, rho is 1, u square equal to 10 square, theta equal to delta by 6. So, delta equal to 0 0.01. Uh, divided by 6 equal to 1 point, 0 0.167, which is 0 0.17 Newton. That is the answer to the question. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering and uh, I have a YouTube channel. 
uh, you can subscribe the channel and listen to the video lectures of all the subjects mentioned here for your better understanding of the mechanical engineering subject. So, thank you for watching. We will meet again in another video lecture uh, in the gate solution. Until then, bye.